the stretch of not dry permanently, weather. but I mean this pattern of yeah, very, every other day. Pretty much, and I think this is going to continue, Michael. Of course you do. Couple <laughs> of dry days. I'm going to show you my pick day, completely okay. dry, but we're going to have to talk about some moisture the next two days. This evening, you want to get out, mow the lawn, a little bit iffy, very damp. There are still some spotty showers. I'd say go ahead tomorrow morning and mow because by the afternoon, it's a no-go for most of us. There may still be some dry weather up towards Jefferson County, but I do think we get wet tomorrow afternoon in some form or fashion. We'll get into that detail. Thursday morning, A-OK, -okay, but then again Thursday afternoon, another system comes this way. Let's take a look at our next weather maker. It's quieted down here in central New York. Can't rely on an isolated shower, but it's mostly dry, as you can see right now, and fossil service experts live triple Doppler radar. But it's this front that is sunk to the south that's going to return back to the north. Look, it's producing tornado warnings, three of them right now in Pennsylvania. Also some tornadic weather out in Kansas. That is what is going to affect us tomorrow afternoon. I think the storm's severe weather stays south of central New York, near the Pennsylvania border, and especially down into Pennsylvania. We will get the northern periphery, and I think it's just going to be a few showers for the afternoon tomorrow. Our temperatures at 59 on the other side of that front. It's full on summertime. Pittsburgh 83. It was 90 last hour in Washington, D.C., and they've got high levels of humidity. So it's this clash and battle of the air masses producing the violent weather for our friends to the south this evening. And I think again tomorrow. So here's what you need to know for tomorrow. It's going to be drier, at least for the morning, not a washout like we had this morning, but we'll bring in the threat for a few isolated to scattered showers in the afternoon. Some of us get more rain than others. We'll show you on the future cast. An active pattern continues for Thursday. Again, some thunderstorms, even higher threat with 70s, lower 70s for a high. The sun returns with low humidity for Friday. So here's our future cast at 11 o'clock tonight. Very odd shower, spot of drizzle. Otherwise, lots of clouds, mostly cloudy. Areas of fog do form late night. Tomorrow morning, we get in some partial sunshine. It's quiet. And then during the afternoon, watch as these scattered showers roll on in. I think in Jefferson County, it's dry. Now, if you're south of Onondaga County, maybe a thunderstorm storm, though non-severe. Look at this. We're already starting to dry out in tomorrow evening. A new system comes further north as we go into Thursday afternoon, so that could bring some heavier rain. Spotty showers end this evening. Areas of fog form, low temperature of 49. Partly sunny to start tomorrow, and then in the afternoon, some scattered showers. Could be a thunderstorm down to the south, but still below average at 64. 72, a little bit more humid with afternoon and evening scattered thunderstorms on Thursday. Dry Friday, my pick day. There you go, Michael. 69. A few thunderstorms in the afternoon on Saturday. Morning shower possible, but it's mostly dry on Sunday.